Uh, hi, Aram is here and today I would like to share with you some tips and tricks and uh, uh, my experience with uh, LeapFrog printer and today I would like to talk a little bit about some tricks and tweaks with this printer. <coughs> uh, while overall the printer looks great and feels great, very solid and sturdy, there are some, some points which you have to learn and these three four days it was pretty intense learning curve for us trying to get quality prints. So first thing I, I would like to show you how I'm using oversized roll of filament. Here is the filament. Uh, obviously it, I cannot stick it in where it's supposed to be so I'm just using some uh, piece, of, piece of wood and I installed it this way uh, which works fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. So, the next thing uh, is heating of the bed. Uh, it, took, it, it takes very long to heat up the bed up to uh, the required temperature. So, what I did, I actually used a trash bag. You can see it here. What I do, I cover the printer while it is heating up, like this. So I restrict the airflow from uh, going in and out, actually going out. I have some other panel, I cannot show it uh, to you now, but I'm, I'm sticking it here with some tape and uh, trying to enclose it as much as possible. That helps a lot, actually. Once the, the bed reaches the, the working temperature, uh, I, I actually uh, leave the bag, but you can, you can remove it as well. <coughs> The next thing I'm not very happy with is actually the sticker paper. You can see it here that the paper uh, is torn down completely and I think I think uh, captain tape uh, here, captain tape would work much better. But these are the main uh, the minor problems we encounter. The major problem is the quality of the print. <clears throat> uh, so first of all I would like to show you very first print here it is you can see how rough it is all the edges are un uneven bumpy <clears throat> the surfaces are very low quality surfaces <clears throat> and it took me a while to, to figure out why it is so so uh, it turns out that the major problem here is the flow rate of the molten plastic. <clears throat> what I did actually, I, I experimented with some flow rates which you can actually set here, you can see here, you can set on the on the program the flow rate. <clears throat> Currently it's at 80 percent but before it was at 100 percent and that's what I was getting. This here you can see the first layer of the same part, partial layer. You, you can see the, the perimeters are very bumpy. Here is the surface, low quality surface. So once I tweaked the uh, flow rate, I started to get uh, much better prints. Here you can see that the first layer was printed with standard 100% flow, flow rate setting, while the second one was printed with 80% flow rate and you can see it's much cleaner and nicer surface and here is the latest part which I printed just probably five minutes ago <clears throat> you can see that surface finish is much much nicer these small details are probably too small for the extruder to, fi to fill in but overall it looks much nicer and cleaner. The uh, bottom edge, very first layer, is still bumpy. Probably I have to adjust the Z offset of the extruder, but I think I'm moving in the right direction. Uh, so here is the comparison of very first print and the last one. You can see the quality difference. Another issue <coughs> which was not 
mentioned in the manual of the, of the printer is that at the very beginning the extruder was scratching off the uh, sticker paper completely uh, and I found out what needs to be done is the adjustment of Z offset and it is done in the I did it in the uh, setup program in the slicer uh, slicer configuration so once you open the uh, slicer settings you can go to printer settings and you can set here the Z offset which in this case was 0.2 millimeters uh, the positive value actually uh, brings the bed down the negative brings the bed up uh, so that's it for today uh, we continue to work with printer trying to get nice nice and quality prints and we'll keep you up to date and uh, see you soon